Hey, you guys. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Easter Sunday for those who celebrate. This is what I picked up from CVS today. I went in there because I knew there were some awesome money maker transactions to do today. I didn't want to shop too heavy, but I didn't want to miss out on the money maker deals that are going on today with the Revlon and the Clear Shampoo. So I'll show you really quickly what I decided to pick up just in case you guys want to go to the store and pick up any of these items this week. So let's get into my transactions. I broke my transactions up um, to use my purchase base coupons. If you guys watch my previous CVS videos, um, you see that I got a 5 off of 30 and I also had a 4 off of 20 coupon. So I broke my transactions up so that I could use each one of those coupons one per transaction. So the first transaction I did, I did this here and this was on um, my 5 off of 30 coupon. So I wanted my total to get up to $30. So these were the deals I decided to do. I did the Revlon deal. It's on an extra care buck deal this week where if you spend $15 in Revlon products or beauty tools, you'll get back a $7 extra care buck. We have some excellent coupons uh, for this deal that I make it an awesome money maker so what I decided to do is I got three of the Revlon Diamond Less products these are eyeshadows and they're so super pretty um, here and then I used three of these Redbox coupons. Um, I had been to CVS three times last week, and each time I scanned my card, I got one of these $3 off coupons for any Revlon face or eye cosmetics. I stacked that coupon with the $1 off manufacturer coupons that came from our 317 newspaper. And so that took off $4 each one, and they were $5.29 each. So they were $1.29 after my Redbox coupon and my $1 manufacturer coupon. And then I got back 7 for the promotion. So awesome, awesome money maker there because I paid less than $4 for each one of those. And they helped bulk my total so that I could use my 5 off of 30 And then I also got $7 back after stacking this coupon with the manufacturer coupon. Now, when I went in the store, this coupon came out of the red box machine today. Um, and this is going to make for an even better scenario than the way that I did it. So I am going to go back and do this deal again using this $4 off of 12 because this $4 off of 12 combined with that uh, spend seven, I mean, spend 15, get seven combined with this coupon and the manufacturer coupons, that's going to make for an awesome money maker. You're not going to pay anything at the register and then you'll get seven dollars back but that is if you do have three of these coupons if you went in CVS and scanned your card that many times less uh, last week so it will be a little bit less of a money maker if you don't have as many but it'll still be a money maker um, if you just have one or two so the next deal that I did was on the clear shampoo. The clear shampoo is $4.99. CVS is giving us a $4.99 coupon from the Redbox machine once you scan your card. That makes that absolutely free. Um, the reason why I wanted to pick it up in particular is because right now we have a $1.25. I bought an offer on this clear shampoo as well. So it's nothing at the register. Then you can submit your receipt for Ibotta and get $1.25 back for your bottle. So it's a $1.25 moneymaker. So I went on ahead and did that as well. I went and got the Maxwell House Coffee and I got this because it's on sale this week for $3.99. We have a $1 off manufacturer coupon and they're also giving us a $1 extra care back. So it makes it $1.99 and I thought that wasn't bad for coffee. This is the... 120 count serving it's an eight ounce container i also picked up one of the rescue pearls this is a sleep aid it is 8.99 get 8.99 back this week so it's just a freebie to throw in great for boosting up your totals if you want to use a 5 off of 30 or a 4 off of 20. so here is how my transaction broke down at the register there's the coffee there at $3.99, the clear at $4.99, the Rescue Pearls at $8.99, my three Revlon um, shadows at $5.29 each. My first coupon is the 5 off of 30. I used three $1 off coupons for the uh, Revlon, the manufacturer coupons. Then I have a $3 off, that's one of the Redbox coupons, the $4.99 clear coupon. The other $1 off coupon is for the coffee. I used a $10 extra care buck, and the other two $3 off coupons are for the Revlon. My total was $0.85 cents at the register, and then I got back a $7 extra care buck 
for the Revlon. I got back an $8.99 extra care buck for the Sleep Pearls. And then I got back a $1 extra care buck for the Maxwell. So I paid $10 in ECBs and then I got back, what is that, $17.8. Yeah, $17 in ECBs. So that transaction was a $7 money maker. That's awesome. I want to show you how the Revlon deal will break down. If you do have three of those red box coupons along with that four off of 12, this is how it should work out um, doing that scenario. Now, I will tell you with all of these CVS red box coupons, usually after a few of them, it starts to beep for whatever reason. So make sure that your cashier is going to be willing to push that through for you. So three of them um, is going to be. Fifteen eighty seven at the register. Use your four off of twelve. Use the three three dollar off red box coupons. Use three one dollar off coupons to take off three dollars. Your total should be negative thirteen cents. So you'll have thirteen cents in overage. So hopefully you'll have something else in your transaction. Then you'll get back seven dollars. So an awesome seven dollar money maker there. The clear shampoo. Also, that money-making transaction, you buy the one clear shampoo at $4.99, use that $4.99 coupon from the red box machine, you pay zero, and then you get back $1.25 from Ibotta. If you're not signed up for Ibotta yet or not familiar with what it is, I'm going to put a link below so that you can sign up for that so that you can get your $1.25 off from a uh, clear as well. So here's my second transaction. I did two of the Oral-B toothbrushes, one more of the clear, and I got one women and one men because um, the Ibotta promotion has one for women and one for men. So I'll get an additional $125 for this one, and this one I did on a second CVS card. So for this one, I had a four off of 20 in this transaction, so I wanted to get my total up to $20. So I did the two toothbrushes. Those were $5.99 each, and then we have a $3 off manufacturer coupon that came out in today's P&G. Then you get back a $2 extra care buck for purchasing, which makes it $0.99 cents after coupon and extra care buck. The Snickers uh, deal I posted about in my last a video talking about deals and steals coming up. We have a buy one get one free coupon that is on coupons.com. When you buy the Snickers, you get the Snickers peanut butter square for free. So how that breaks down at the register is two of them ended up costing me a dollar twenty-five because they were a dollar and then a dollar. They were a dollar and then twenty-five cents for the next one. That coupon auto deducts for a dollar and ten cents. So you'll end up paying. 15 cents for each two that you buy, which is really nothing. I mean, they're almost free. So 15 cents for each two. So you can consider them to be 8 cents and 7 cents each. So here's how that transaction broke down. I did two the toothbrushes. I did the clear at $4.99. I did the Snickers bars all there. I used the 4 off of 20. I used the $4.99 clear coupon. That is, the rest of those coupons are my Snickers coupons, and then I used the $3 off manufacturer coupons for the Oral-B. My total was $2.60 at the register. Put that on a CVS card, and then I got back $4. So that transaction was a dollar in, what was that, a dollar and 40 cent moneymaker because I paid $2.40, got back 4 at the register. Then I just got two more additional bottles of the clear shampoo on my other cards. Here, just paid with the CVS coupon that came from the Redbox machine, and I just paid sales tax on those as well. And I got those just in case because sometimes with Ibotta, even after you buy a product, it will reload that same offer onto your card. So if it does that to me, I want to have some more receipts that I can submit to get even more money back for that Ibotta promotion. So that's all for my CVS run today. You guys, let me know if you guys have any questions and look for more details below in the description box. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.